Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the NECA Jonah Hex series, Lila. And of course, this is the character that's going to be portrayed by Megan Fox in the series, as you can see here. Of course, down here, you get a look says sneak peek at the Emotion Comics. All it is, though, is a little link to a website they tell you to go to. And, um, Lila's character seems to be a big dispute in my fans. Like, oh man, I can't believe Megan Fox is in this movie. Um, I haven't seen her in enough to have an opinion either way. The only thing I've seen her in are the Transformers movies, which I didn't enjoy, but, you know, well. It seems that her only accessory is a Derringer, which is a small pistol that's right up here. For some reason, they stuck it behind this big outline of Jonah. I mean, it looks like she comes with absolutely nothing besides prostituting action. Of course, um, on to the back. Of course, you have a little spiel about the motion comics. It says, hey, they're not for kids. Over here, a wanted poster of Lila, Jonah Hex, and Quentin Turnbull, which are, of course, the other characters in the series. So, over here, um, Lila definitely has the biggest read-up of any character in the Jonah Hex series. And it says, Lila's piercing eyes, cascade of dark hair, and hourglass shape that almost impossible that's almost impossible to believe belie her underlying keen wit and unflinching bravado. She lives her life balanced on the thin line between good and evil and only cares for a single one of the many men who drift in and out of her life. The only one who can possibly see to the heart of who she really is, Jonah Hex. They are star-crossed, and when they that star falls into the brutal hands of Quentin Turnbull, Jonah will have to rely on her more than he ever has before help before to help save the country. So, um... The way I hear it, she only makes a few appearances in the film. She only shows up about three times, but, you know, who knows? Nobody's seen the movie yet. But that being said, this figure looks fantastic. Let's pull her out of the packaging. And here we have Lila out of packaging. And, of course, um, you can see her Derringer right there in her hand. Let's get a quick 360 of her. As you can see, NECA definitely didn't skimp on the detail. Once again, they've done a fantastic job. That being said, let's actually go on to her overall look. Of course, a very nice sculpt, nice you tell all down her costume. I'm um, especially there, the way the dress is kind of translucent and goes all the way down. So I'm um, very nice. Of course, even back here, the little um drawstring for the corset is a very small um loose plastic, so it moves like an actual string. But uh, let's pull her derringer out of her hand here, which as you can see. Small gun, but some pretty nice detail on it. That's pretty accurate to what a Derringer looks like. It fits just fine in her hand. Um, of course, onto her articulation, which panning back out. Her head ha can do a full 360 despite having some pretty massive hair, because it's a softer plastic, and go up and down. Her arms can go out to about here, and both do a full 360. Um, strangely enough, though, right at her elbows, um, as I just found out, you try to unbend them, and there's a very slight range of movement, as you can see here, but um, it's just a simple ball socket, and it pops right off. So there's not a whole lot of articulation there. So you gotta pop this right back in. So um, that's unfortunate, you know. I guess it's because of the look of the stockings or something, I don't know. And she has a wrist joint. Um, the only character out of this series that didn't have a ball-jointed wrist, this is just a swivel. Of course, um, she turns at the waist, as you can see here. And no major leg articulation, but she does turn at the boot on either leg. Of course, let's get her standing back up. And get her Derringer in her hand. Um... I've heard a lot of interest in, there was a whole lot of interest in this figure, um, I'm guessing just for the fact that it's Megan Fox, if nothing else. She's having a small trouble time standing. Looks like the way her boots are posed definitely make a, can make it a problem for her standing. Okay, there we go. Anyways, um, Lila's character, we, you know, we've heard that it's a pretty played down role in the movie. Um, so I've got to say, the whole... This figure is probably just going to be for people who are either looking for a Megan Fox figure or really just want a whole, um, the whole collection of Jonah Hex. I gotta say, it's an okay figure. Um, usually NECA blows me away, though, and while the detail on this is great, um, I mean, once again, NECA's detail is, you know, I don't think there's any other toy company out there that even comes close to what they do. The overall figure just kind of seems eh to me. It's not bad. The detail is great. It's going to look great on a shelf. 
But overall, the figures definitely for the people who are picking up, you know, the whole line, Jonah and Quentin as well. But that being said, this is J Train 997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.